Urban Warriors, your boy Gary J. White, the Master Coach Mentor, coming into a little wake up lot here from CrossFit Ethos in Ladera Ranch, California. I'm gonna show you a few things that we're gonna have a little talk about skill sets and improving your skill sets in 2014. Okay, so I gave a little demo of two things. I'm in the end of a workout today that involved overhead squat at 115 and double unders. Five rounds, 10 overhead squat from the ground. I mean, you had to clean it up from the ground, get over your head. 10 squats and 10, 25 double unders. Five rounds, I finished in 542. Fast time today. So here's the thing you don't know about what's going on with my double unders and my overhead squats. A year ago, I couldn't do a total of 10 overhead squat with 95 pounds, okay? Which means that a workout like this would have been impossible. The second piece was, I was coming off of surgery for a third time, 14 months on crutches, and I hadn't been able to do double unders because why? This piece right here, I had no spring, so there was no hippity hoppity when it came to my double unders you need a good little jump on your toes to be able to pull that off so i remember getting into a workout a year from that a year ago in january 2012 getting into the workout so fucking pissed because i couldn't hit the overhead squat and i couldn't hit the double unders and it was funny because i found myself slipping into a trap that maybe you slipped into maybe you'll slip into a 2014 i don't know most people do is i expected to have these epic results in my overhead squat and in my double unders, yet I had not put in the time to master the skill sets. Now I'd say this level, I still haven't mastered the skill sets. Most I've ever done overhead squat was 225, one rep. But that's a shitload more than what I did in 2012. So one of the dilemmas then for average people and average warriors who don't get the fucking game is this. You expect results too quickly. And what I mean is, is because you do so much to try to expect a result to happen so fast, you end up skipping all the foundational skill work necessary to actually pull it off. So here I am a year later, five rounds at 115. Our X was 95 pounds, I put extra on there. And I'm hitting my double unders unbroken with the exception of two times where I hit my leg. Okay, so skill sets in one year improved massively but see here's what happens when you increase skill sets is you increase your personal power and your confidence and certainty to produce and create an output three years ago i couldn't write an email to save my life three years ago i didn't know shit about facebook i didn't know anything really about marketing online and two years ago i finally got sick and tired of having no skill sets and i said you know what fuck it i am going to become a master marketer I am going to master the skill sets of copy, how to do video, how to write emails, how to use technology, how to launch my own campaigns, how to build my squeeze pages, how to edit video, how to deal with merchant accounts, how to sell information products, how to build JV partnerships. I didn't know how to do any of this. And like a double under and like an overhead squad, I was faced with two choices, bitch and moan about the result that's not happening because my skill sets are weak or slow the fuck down and focus on skill sets and get myself back to a place in which I could do it confidently. So my double unders and my overhead squat today were an example of that. My marketing today is an example of that. My wife and my relationship that was on the brink of divorce two and a half to three years ago and my wife literally being disgusted by me and she deserved to be because I was a total douchebag asshole idiot. And I, you know, I'm going to turn my marriage around in one weekend. I'm going to turn my skill sets around in one weekend. I'm going to become a master marketer after watching one webinar. And you know what? It's all bullshit. And this is how weak-minded individuals who are looking for a quick fix pill and a fucking shot to change their life and some magic drug they're going to take and shred 50 pounds. And yet if you just slowed down and you gave yourself permission to what? Permission to commit and master a skill set in 2014. One in business. One in balance in your marriage and your relationship with your kids. One in spirituality. 
and one in business when it came to your marketing, sales, and systems. And you just slowed down. You said, you know what? I'm going to slow down and I'm going to master a skill set this year in these areas so that my confidence to produce an output expands. So now coming into workouts, there's not one workout ever in CrossFit anymore that I'm scared of. And I used to be scared of muscle-ups, overhead or stand, uh, handstand push-ups, double-unders, overhead squats, snatch, a whole shitload of lifts that a year ago I was scared by. Now I can go in confidently into these workouts because I've mastered skill sets. Having conflict with my marriage and my wife was something that scared me because I didn't have the skill sets to be able to love her and have her love me through the conflict in order to create a higher level of opportunity beyond the conflict. I was scared of parenting and having challenging conversations with my kids two years ago because I didn't have the skill sets. I was scared about war marketing and sending emails and whether people would opt out or whether they would like it or creating videos until I mastered the skill set. I was scared of the conversation of God and challenging my spiritual beliefs and considering deeper and higher levels of possibility and truth because I didn't have the skill sets of personal power and certainty. So my challenge to you today in this wake up water is to look at this. Where in your fitness, where in your marriage, where with your children, where in your marketing, your selling, and your systems, where in your spirituality do you get to increase your skill sets this year? And what can you do to give yourself space and patience to daily get up and work on your skill sets? My friends, if you haven't checked out our new Warrior app, we got it coming out on the Android market here in two weeks, but it's already up in iTunes. If you haven't got it, go check it out today from your phone. Go to the iTunes, iTunes app store, type in Wake Up Warrior, download the app. It's going to give you detailed information about all of the content we're throwing down in the Warrior's Way in 2014. Hope you're having a great day. Go find some fucking skill sets to master today. This is Gary Why reminding you of the power in today's marketplace as a modern-day warrior comes down to the simple formula of authenticity. Be real, get raw, and stay relevant with a ruthless commitment to creating big-ass results today.